She snatched Oh, who do it better? Who do it better? How to live it up? I'm on a new level. Everything I touch turn to gold. Ain't I something special? This one for my haters. I'm a motivator. I make them niggas wanna do better. I want too much. I can never sell it. Set up for less, nigga. I can never. If she did better, I probably would've killed her. But oh boy, I found something better. And she go do me better. Run me through your first fight. Oh, I remember. My first fight, I was tired. It was on the cotton. Uh, he had an event. You know. Coach took me to one of his events first, though. When I seen how Coach maneuvers through the crowd, the way his gift the gab was, that's why I was like, okay, yeah. He, he know how to run plays like I run plays. He uses his personality at the forefront to where even if you don't want to fuck with me, you're going to fuck with me just because you like my personality. You like how I get straight to the point, period. It ain't no finesse, it's just shit. I'm gonna keep it all the way 1,000. I seen Coach woo, 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 running. I'm like, damn, that nigga look like me working the crowd. Okay, I, 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 I'm gonna fuck with this type shit. So I go. They say, yeah, we got this Mexican chick, her name Cassie. I'm like, who is that? So by this time, Coach knowing a few people in the fighting realm with the whoop. People tell me, yeah, you know, she done fought chicken before. Woo, woo, she a great lover, amateur. I'm like, oh shit, y'all trying to intimidate me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, a lot of people probably get mad, but you know, I love everybody. I love everybody. But the first thing I heard was a Mexican chick. I don't give a damn. If you're Mexican and you're white, I'm punching out your lights. Period. Period. Off the rip. I can't let you beat me, man. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Just period. You know, it ain't even no, I ain't even trying to be funny. It's just, nah, I, nah, G. Shoot, sure, nah. So I'm like, okay, y'all ain't got no videos of her? No videos. I get there early. She took hours to get there. I'm getting tired. I'm like, damn, okay. Mind you, I only been like boxing training for probably about a month and a half, maybe two at this point. Been working out, but nothing, no pad work, no boxing, nothing for maybe like a month and a half before that fight. She supposed to be up there, up there. She about to be. Dang her on the level of pro, so I'm like, oh, okay, shit, well, I'm finna go in this mud with straight heart, and bitch, I'm black, <laughs> so I ain't having it, period, so boom, she show up, I'm like, damn, this girl is not my size, all right, she short, though, so that's, that's where I, that's what happened, so first round come, boom, 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 she caught me with a mean overhand, I said, woo, and all my fights on the hand to this day, she, that one little overhand, that was the hardest fight, I'm talking about all my spars, with any female, that girl coming with that overhand, I said, I'll never again. She ain't getting that shit no fucking more. I stayed out the way. I ain't even again, I ain't even know how punch. I killed it with only my left hand. Coach couldn't even get me to use the left hand practicing. I come out just thaw, thaw, thaw. Made her uh, fall out the ring. Bam, they had to fix her hair. Ponytail, they gave her five minutes, you know, <laughs> countdown 10. Really won the mug then, but hey. We went three rounds and that was the most tired I ever been. And I said, never again will I ever be that tired. When we got to the third round, I'm talking about, <laughs> I don't even like watching that fight. Yeah, that mug on Mighty Mouse page too. Yeah, he came out. They got, that's what popped it off. Cause that first fight, I want to say it got within like the first two, three days had over 200,000 views. Bussy, doing numbers, bussy. But that was the ugliest shit I ever seen in my life. I'm talking about, <laughs> Third round, I couldn't even swim. Uh, so I may, might as well say a baby hit you. But I won. Ah, and I got some good tips. You know, people were so excited. They was just throwing money, throwing it everywhere. And if it was more people, shit, it would have really been lit. I wish it were more people there. But, you know, it was late. Folks had to be at work. It is what it is. So now we got like a... Uh, what they call underground, underground fighting, and it's a movement behind it. So, how you feel about the guns, down gloves, or movement in general? Bite, <laughs> bite, biting. I feel like it's a good movement, but at the end of the day, we got our own movement over here. You know what I'm saying? That guns down, gloves up. That's their movement. That's they doing that good thing, but. We going all the way to the ten now. It's you, you. You start somewhere in order to get somewhere. I ain't trying to stay right there. 
I so, mean, I understand that part. I mean, as far as the as the cause go, like oh, the cause is that's awesome. I I I feel like guns down, gloves up, beautiful. I feel like I wish that our sector and Dallas would come up with a whole nother name, if you know what I mean. Hint, <laughs> hint, that's why I say bite. You know what I'm saying? Cause I personally, I like the whole lot of wood shit. You know what I'm saying? Whole lot of wood shit, get rid of all the bullshit. That's what you need to go in here promote for the underground on our side. But the guns down, gloves up, it saves lives. I really like it because it's like, if you got beef, like it, most dudes, see, I'm a female, so I ain't on beef with all of that. But I know all the guys that I know, they, oh, I can't go to this hood. I don't, I don't like that that area because, you know, they got whatever they got going on. And, you know, people dying out here. So if you can come to an agreement where, okay, this side don't like that side, but we can come and we can spar it out, box it out, and everybody keep their life, shit, that's a plus plus. I feel like more people need to do that. Get their aggression out. Yeah, fuck all that gun shit. Cause really, to me, you a weak ass nigga if you gotta shoot somebody. Real talk. If how I feel, if you got beef with somebody, beat their ass with your hands. I rather, I rather fucking nigga up real bad with my hands and choke your ass out so I can feel your breath in my motherfucking knee palm, my nigga. Fuck a damn gun. That shit too quick. That's too easy. Anybody can shoot a gun. Pussy niggas can shoot a gun and kill you. So it's like, yeah, put them guns down, put them gloves up, and go and box that shit out. What do you say on Friday? You live, you you fight. You live to you, fight another day. But you live to fight another day. You don't need that gun, Craig. <laughs> you don't need that gun. Uh, really, uh, Alright, so you don't. Uh, how many fights you say you don't had in the underground? Man, it's been tough. I post have been done had about eight, but then all these girls want to flake. I got me a solid foe in the dough. It's a, yep, foe. Had Cassie. We had your girl Jackie O, you know what I'm talking about? That was a nice little event right there. That really turned it up another notch, too. Then after that, oh yeah, Mighty Mouse came back. Thought he had another one. I don't know why Mighty Mouse keep trying to bring these Mexicans and these white girls. I'm going to beat their ass every time, period. I'm beating y'all ass every time. He brought a girl from Pennsylvania on top of that. Pennsylvania? Now, if you ain't from Pittsburgh, you can get that shit out of here. Then she had me by the way. I still ain't got to fight nobody my way yet. Everybody been weighing more than me. Every, every fight. Every fight. The girls, I can't wait to get somebody my way. I'm knocking your ass the fuck out. Period. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. The long way. So you plan on you plan on hitting the uh the amateurs before you go pro? Well, you know what? I'm on I'm on I'm on Coach Jim plan. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I do go pro, it's gonna be the amateur pro first. Get a couple of little, you know, knock the cobwebs off, knock the nervousness off and stuff like that. Get a feel for the next level first. That's just like before going to WNBA or the NBA, you gotta go to college first and get that next level up to see if you can even sustain in college, because if you can't play and sustain in college, you damn sure not gonna make it in the pro pros. So I feel like it would be a good move to go do like a little am pro, but of course you still don't have to get your book. So I would still technically be registered, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that 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 would be nice. Then if I sweep their ass, we we just finna go and take off, man.